So just how did they do this? How did the ancient people of Peru make a perfect imprint of the bottom of the stone above onto the top of the stone below? Tribuche takes a look at the writings of early chroniclers and cites Garcilaso de la Vega, who wrote in Inn, and César de León, who wrote in as two of the best sources of information. Garcilaso had a Spanish father, but his mother was an Inca princess, niece of the Inca ruler, Juana Capac. He had a good education and mixed with influential Incas before emigrating to Spain at age 20. There he wrote his Inca history. César de León was a Spanish conquistador with a modest education, but has proved to be quite a reliable chronicler in terms of the accuracy of his writings. Both confirm what mainstream researchers say that the Inca used harder stone tools to chip and grind stones into shape. The Jesuit priest, Barnaby Cobo, reports seeing the Inca using tools made from extremely sharp volcanic glass known as obsidian, and this was used to dress stones. He also says that the size of the construction teams that were employed to cut and grind the stones were huge. So there was an element of brute force, as well as a high volume of workers to prepare building projects. 